is Greg from FRC Foamies. I'm at the fuel this morning with the FRC Foamies A10 Mark II. This is our second release of the A10. The Mark I was a beautiful plane and it flew great. Uh, as with all Mark I's, when we're flying them, hours, uh, hours of flying them gives us ideas on what we could do better. So we released the Mark II's not only to look better, but also to perform better. First of all, the Mark II uh, is larger. It's got a 41 inch wingspan and 37 inch length. What the increased size does is it makes the plane look more sleek, more scale. Uh, there's only so much you can do about the thickness of the Depron. And on the Mark I, the thickness of the Depron was kind of making it look a little bit uh, pudgy. But uh, because the plane is bigger now, the thickness of the Depron does not really do much to affect the looks of the plane. So not, not only does it look sleeker, but uh, Jay also spent a lot of time in SketchUp perfecting the airfoil score and fold wing. Look at that beauty. Very easy to do. It all fits together. There's an inside wing spar here that shapes everything. So there's not much you have to do to line angles or anything. It's all set for you. But not only is it an airfoil score and fold wing, it's also got the dihedral like the real plane beautiful performing plane. With a dihedral like that, the plane stays nice and centered all by itself, very stable. The plane balances out beautifully with a 2200 battery up front. And just as an idea of how big the plane is, that's a 2200 battery there. It looks kind of small in this plane compared to the Mark I. Uh, we've got the uh, 2200 KV motor on the back. There's a Turnigy 28, 26, 2200. I'm using a 7 70 30 by 3 prop. Uh, I wanted to try a 3 blade prop on there. I like the uh, grunt it's got. Not a lot of speed, but good grunt. The controls I've got on this are very simple. Ailerons and elevator. We have somebody on the forum that put rudders on the Mark I and it looks like it flew really good with the rudders, but we like to keep things simple as far as controls. This gives you nice scale performance. The other thing I've got on here are flaps. I've got two position flaps. Don't know if you can see the flaps moving there. Full flaps on uh, this plane are uh, not great when you're using flapperons like this, only because when they are full down, you get a lot less control with the ailerons. You're actually cutting your control in half. So uh, we don't recommend doing uh, aggressive flap runs on that. If you want to do flaps, very easy to cut this piece of the wing right here and activate them as uh, inside flaps, interior flaps. So let's see what this plane will do. It's a very windy day today and this thing flies beautifully in the wind. Jay's got the speed set up on his with the 2700 kV focal price motor on a 6x3 prop. I've got the uh, power motor on here. Not very fast, but it's got plenty of torque. So scale looking when it banks in on you like that. Looks scary when it comes in on a strafing run. <laughs> Beautiful, wow. I love this plane. Beautiful. Wow, what a nice flyer.